Hello everyone, uh, I'm Chris Capchis, uh, President of Chestnut Park Real Estate, and today I'm going to be uh, providing you with the July market report for the Toronto and uh, region uh, resale market. Um, I'm going to give you the basic uh, data as it relates to what happened in the market, but I also would like to discuss uh, three themes that are kind of making their way uh, through the marketplace that I think are going to have a tremendous impact on the market as we move towards the second half of uh, 2024. The basic data is we, we see that there were uh, uh, 5,391 sales uh, month of uh, July. If we compare that to last year, it's a slight improvement. But the fact of the matter is that last year was not a particularly robust uh, July. So that comparison is not all that meaningful. Actually, those 5,391 sales are a historically small number for the month of uh, July. And the explanation will come as we move through the uh, presentation. The, uh, the other uh, component of the, of the market data is the increase in the number of uh, available listings. Uh, new listings were up by uh, over 18% in the month of July, bringing the total number of active listings to uh, 23,877. That number, as it starts approaching 25,000 active listings, is becoming a little bit more reminiscent of what we saw probably two decades ago in terms of the number of listings that were on the market, when in fact we had a buyer's market or a balanced market. Uh, for the last uh, 15 odd years, and particularly through the COVID period, we've had anything but a balanced market. It's been strictly a seller's market, but that is quick changed. Now, what uh, we're going to see is that uh, a large number of those uh, active listings are condominium apartments, and that's one of the themes that uh, is rolling through the uh, rolling through the marketplace. So let's get to those themes. The three themes that are at play in the marketplace right now are one, the condominium apartment uh, marketplace, which I'll talk about in a moment. Um, the demand side, notwithstanding the number of listings that I just mentioned uh, a moment ago. And then, of course, the prevailing theme, which we have talked about before uh, during uh, previous uh, market presentations, is affordability. But let's start with uh, condominium apartments. Uh, of the 24-odd thousand listings that I mentioned a moment ago, almost 9,000 of those are condominium apartments. And the market has sort of been flooded with condominium apartments for a variety of reasons, but a prevailing theme within the condominium um, apartment uh, marketplace is the number of investors that are now putting their properties on the market and therefore inflating the number of uh, properties that are available to buyers. The other side of it is that those uh, investor units, they're kind of commoditized and they're not the most ideal units for households and as a result of that we're not seeing a take up in sales even though condominium apartments are the least expensive uh, housing form that's available on the market uh, today. Um, in the month of July uh, average sale price for condominium apartments was around uh, $720,000, a little bit more in uh, Toronto uh, compared to the 905, but uh, ballpark in that range. And yet there's still resistance to, uh, to sales in that, uh, in that uh, marketplace. Why? Because the people who buy those uh, properties are the ones that are most sensitive to uh, uh, the financial side of, um, of buying uh, real estate, usually first-time buyers uh, uh, who are a little tight when it comes to uh, affordability. And as a result of that, we're seeing those units stay on the market uh, much longer than they did in the past. And we're also seeing prices starting to drift down a little bit as far as condominium apartments are concerned. They're impacting the market as a whole. If, if we look at the demand side and we look specifically at detached and semi-detached properties, we'll see that there's a very different dynamic that's at play compared to what's happening in the case of condominium apartments. If we look at uh, detached and semi-detached properties, we see that in the case of detached properties, except for the central districts of uh, Toronto, where the average uh, sale price for a detached property is $2,500,000 
all detached properties sold for 100% of their asking price, and they sold in relatively quick order, much quicker than uh, what you saw in terms of the overall marketplace. And that's again because we're not dealing with condominium apartments. Semi-detached properties, I mean, if one could use the term, are still on fire, they're, they're pretty close to that. All uh, semi-detached uh, properties in the City of Toronto sold for 103% of their asking price. And in the Eastern Districts, they sold for uh, 107% of their asking price. And if we look at the Eastern Districts that are most in demand, like places like um, Riverdale, Leslieville, and the, and the beach, uh, they sold for 107% of their asking price and uh, for, um, for uh, almost only eight days on the market. So very, very fast uh, moving market, contrary to what we see in the, uh, in the uh, uh, condominium apartment marketplace. So a real contradiction between those two markets. But the overall prevailing theme is still affordability. The Bank of Canada has reduced its benchmark rate twice now, uh, bringing it from 5% to 4.5%, but that still is very expensive for most buyers looking for uh, financing. Uh, through the last 20 odd years before the pandemic, the benchmark rate never got higher than 1.75%, and here we are at 4.5% with affordability really uh, weighing on, um, on buyers. And one of the reasons it's weighing on buyers is because the average sale price is still relatively high. As uh, we saw from the beginning on the chart that, that, that was posted behind me, the, uh, the average sale price came in at 1,106,000, and that includes condominium apartments. So if we were to extract condominium apartments from that number, the average sale price would be closer to $1.4, $1.5 million. So uh, when you have interest rates that are still hovering, that is five-year fixed-term rates, still hovering around 5%, affordability becomes a real concern for buyers. So with the Bank of Canada having reduced its rates twice, as I said, to 4.5%, do you think, well, that might stimulate uh, buying? In fact, it's had the opposite effect. It's immobilized the marketplace. The reason being is the Bank of Canada has sent signals out indicating that between now and the end of 2024, it's probably going to reduce rates again, probably three times, and maybe up to a full point. A number of economists have indicated that that's what they believe will be the case. So what the buyers are doing, they're caught in a wait and see situation, waiting to see ultimately what the bank will do. And hopefully the bank will reduce its benchmark rate to something around 3.5%, even better at 3%, which would then stimulate the marketplace and we would start seeing sales taking place. But for the time being, that simply isn't happening. The two uh, uh, rate reductions that the bank made, as I said a moment ago, have actually immobilized the market rather than stimulate it. So as we move forward into August and then into the second half of uh, 2024, we're going to be seeing much uh, the same of these three themes floating through. The condominium apartment theme, where uh, there's huge supply and yet uh, demand is diminished, again, because of affordability in the cohort that wants to buy there. The demand side in the case of detached and semi-detached properties, and then ultimately the uh, affordability issue. Once that affordability issue gets dealt with, we will then see the marketplace start to pick up. But it looks like we're going to have to wait a little bit for that to happen, perhaps uh, even to the end of uh, 2024. So I look forward to presenting you with the August market report. I suspect that it'll have similarities to what we're talking about today and for reports uh, throughout the remainder of uh, 2024. So until then, thank you very much.